Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. We are about to start a prep and protect package, the ultimate package for this uh, C8 Chevy Corvette. It's been a while since we have done a, a vlog on new car prep and protect, so I'll take you along for the ride. While I show you the rest of the car, we could talk about shop floors. And I have tried everything available. They all have deteriorated. We have a very, very high traffic uh, shop floor it gets beat up uh, with uh, paint protection film it gets soaked and then dried daily so I can tell you uh, the be absolute best option for anybody out there uh, with a shop will be the ultra armor commercial grade epoxy kits with top coat Obviously, first thing is first, and that's to get it washed, and no-brainer here, it will be the Apex Auto Wash. Uh, we'll use that in a foam gun, thick shaving cream foam. We will foam it down and rinse it thoroughly. This will get uh, paint protection film on 35 to 40 percent of the vehicle, so we need to be thorough cleaning out uh, crevices, corners where panels come together, even though it's a brand new car. And while we continue the wash process on this, let's get back to finishing the thought on shop floors. We've tried the Swiss tracks to uh, the square tiles to the uh, over-the-counter epoxy floors. Everything you can think of we have tried. They have all failed rather quickly. The only way to go is the commercial-grade epoxy floor with topper. I especially didn't like the Swiss tracks and anything like it uh, doing the installs for PPF. Uh, they get wet and they get very, very slick and slippery that way. Let us know down in the comment section what you prefer when it comes to a shop floor or your garage floor at home. Back to the vehicle, we can thoroughly rinse. I've used a soft detailing brush to also help clean up between cracks, crevices, corners where the panels meet together, uh, really doubling down and making sure there's no grit or dust or dirt in there whatsoever to flush back out into the film during install. This will be a wheels off package, but we'll do the best we can with the wheel cleaners, the wheel woolies, and detailing brushes for wheels uh, as they're still on the car. Then we'll go into greater detail, getting the barrel of the wheel, the inside lip, and the back of the spokes later. Two more ounces of the Apex Auto Wash in the contact wash bucket with multiple mitts and you'll have a ton of lubrication to glide over each panel.
Moving right along squeaky clean. We pull it in the shop, dry it off, and it's time to plan out the paint protection film process. The guys are finishing up with uh, a job on a Mercedes. I'm gonna get this one started. We need to remove emblems. There is very minor disassembly here. We don't go crazy with major disassembly at this shop, uh, but we will look for a fishing line with either 30 or 40 pounds and also the heat gun warm up the emblem and remove it using the fishing line. Anything left behind that's thick, that two-way adhesive can be removed with the 3M adhesive wheel. Anything left over from there is very minor and can be removed with Goof Off or Citral 266 and then flush and clean the area. If there is any type of an outline or the fishing line uh, makes contact with the paint, it's always best to do a cleaner polish or a mild polish in that area anyways. That's exactly what we did and we're ready to go. This particular package gets the whole front clip, including hood, fenders, bumper, headlights, and grill area protected, as well as mirrors, lower doors, and rocker panel all the way back to the wishbone on the C8 Corvette. And a subject that can get a bit touchy, some apply paint protection film over coatings uh, or with no prep at all. Not this guy, not our shop. We at least will go over it with a cleaner polish. You never know if the dealership washed their cars in the lot with a crappy shampoo that has gloss enhancers or carnauba or a sealant or really anything at all. Or they tried their own hand at a coating we will not take a chance and we'll remove it. Now to get this thing up in the air, it already has the pucks installed for lifting the vehicle. Remember, the engine is now in the back on the Corvettes. That will change the balance a bit when you are setting up the lift process. Let's elevate it so it makes it easier to get to some of these areas with the film and for the coating. The elevation also brings the hood up to waist height and makes it easier to apply the first piece of protection film we work from top to bottom. I described our PPF process in great detail in a previous video, so we'll just let the footage roll as we protect the hood, the fenders, the bumper, and move on from there. The patterns are slightly blown up a bit, so we can roll the edges over. That way, the edges are protected, but the lines from the film cannot be seen. Same with the fenders. Now there are some areas where you can't wrap an edge or wrap a corner. So we'll take the film right up to the edge and it really blends in with the corner of the body line. In no time at all, the hood and the fenders are installed time for the bumper. That's the end of the day. My employees go home to enjoy their families. I will continue on. I have the quiet time now, and there are th some things I can get done that if they really kick up some dust, it will not disturb the process. We will then uh, back out the car, sweep up, mop up, wipe things down, blow out the shop. Uh, it, it can really become tedious with PPF. You want your shop spotless and clean. You want the air filtered. Uh, you want to keep a clean area where you don't do correction or any other work besides film or coatings. Uh, and that's what we will be moving towards. It's funny. I went from a big shop with six bays and three lifts down to two to three bays. 
and now we're growing again and it, the cycle starts all over again. So uh, as they say in the movies, once you get out, uh, they drag you right back in again. I'm going to be doing a wheels off uh, protection kit for the wheels. That way we can get our track grade coating, this right here, the Apex uh, Surface Protection Wheel Coat, applied to the face of the wheel, the lip, the uh, barrel of the wheel, the back of the spokes. Uh, we can also clean the wheel arches and coat and protect the calipers. The Apex Surface Protection Wheel Coat is a high temp track grade, uh, very durable, uh, very tenacious for those that uh, either track their car or it's a heavy automobile or vehicle like commercial where the temps spike near 1000, 1200 or 1500 degrees. This wheel is now fully protected and it can sit and cure as I get to the arch of the wheel and the caliper and then move on to the other three. Only very few miles from the dealership to the home and then to the home to the shop here when I was ready for it, but that's really all it takes. So yes, it can use a freshening up here in the wheel arches and also the caliper before protecting it. Much better, nice and fresh. We can grab the wheel coating, protect the caliper, get this front passenger side wheel back on and move on to the others. Everything can cure as I move on. Be sure if you're going to pull a wheel for either yourself or a customer to check the specs on tightening the bolts or lug nuts and use that information. We are all set, looks fantastic. Uh, by the way, if you wanna prevent the rusting on those rotors, as you see there, I will put a link to the hide serum down in the description box. I'm now going to cover all the wheels as we need to do a little bit more of the PPF uh, to this vehicle and we don't want anything running down onto the wheel or when we prep the rest of the paint for coatings, we don't need to get dust or dirt down there. We can keep everything nice and pristine and fresh. And that will do it for the first part of this short series. Be sure to tune in for the second part to find out what we use to protect it and the end results and really how far we go when it comes to protection on this C8.